A deadly week here in the DMV with two teens shot and killed. That includes 16 year old Jada Madrano Moore, who was shot and killed right outside Duval High School in Lanham. 17 year old will be charged as an adult in her death. And in Northeast DC, 17 year old Antonio Cunningham was shot and killed in the Brentwood neighborhood. Tonight, dozens showed up for a vigil in his honor. Emotions running high as family and friends demand action from city leaders. Our Daniel Hamburg joining us live tonight following that vigil. And Daniel, it really was a powerful sight over there. It was Chris, not too far away from where he was shot right here in front of Jersey Mike's. He was on the way to work, standing just where I am. You can see still this window is boarded up because bullets flew through here. His family says that it was an attempted robbery that went wrong. Another man was also shot. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be OK. Cunningham was not so lucky. They taken two men in our baby. That child was a baby. Tonight, the Brentwood community showed up in big numbers to remember 17 year old Antonio Cunningham. He was great. He was raised right. He had a father, he had a mother, he had a whole family that really loved him. And they took that from him. his style, his, his smile, his charisma. He was a good kid, you know, he was going to school, you know, helping his siblings you know, back and forth to school and doing things. His grandfather says Cunningham was on his way to work at Jersey Mike's when someone tried robbing him. It's hurtful and it's a coward act for somebody just to take a life, period. Family friend and violence interrupter Reginald Key says he's trying to get kids jobs and training in the neighborhood, but he can't do it alone. Let's come up with a solution. We got to find a way to stop this killing in Washington, D.C., especially of the young children. Cunningham's other grandfather has this message. All you youngsters out here, man, stay safe. And all the ones out here perpetrating and committing crimes, your time is up. While many here want district leaders to do more, here the focus is on supporting the family and remembering a life taken too soon. DC police say they do not have a motive for this shooting. They also have not released any surveillance video of suspects. We're live in Northeast. Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.